Hi, this is Dom from iRise, and in this video, we're going to talk about requirements. So once you're engaging your stakeholders through the prototype, it's now time to start capturing text requirements and user stories. And you're going to do that directly within the prototype. So if we hit the play button, on the upper left-hand corner, the second icon is the requirements panel. Let's open that up, and here we see all the requirements associated with this screen. To add another requirement, you just click in the top field and start typing. To edit an existing requirement, you just mouse over the top right icon and you'll see your options there. You can even pin a requirement to a widget on the page. Another cool feature is that you can have conversations about each requirement. Just click this chat icon at the bottom to either start or join a conversation. Now you also have the ability to capture, track, and report on the details of each requirement. And if we click on this info icon at the bottom of the requirement, you'll see all the details. These details are configurable at the project level. You'll see here that we're tracking the progress, the type of requirement, which here is a user story. You can assign owners. You can add attachments. You can also create links to other assets within iRise or to any web link. You might want to link to an outside example on the web, a different requirement within iRise, a specific screen in the prototype, or maybe an interactive diagram. Now, along with capturing requirements directly in iRise like we're doing here, through our integrations, you can also populate them using an external RM tool like Jira, Rally, or Blueprint, IBM, HP, and all the other big names in the space. Finally, I'll mention that every piece of data in iRise is available to be included in custom reporting. So if we go to Definition Center, under the Export Document tab, you'll find the custom reporting feature. Here you'll find a set of custom report templates that we provide. Let's quickly look at a sample report. And again, you can configure the layout and content included here. In this case, it's taken the user stories and put them on the right side of the screen. And then on the left, we have the associations to each element. The conversations for each requirement can be seen off to the right. And if you happen to use Excel, there's a document template for that as well. So that's it for now on requirements and reporting. Be sure to check out all our video tutorials on iRise.com. Thanks for watching and take care.